Hi, this is Pastor Rick at Living Hope Baptist Church here in Hammett. I'm glad you could join me. I want to read a passage of scripture in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 14, in verse 22. It says, And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side, while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray, and when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, Folks, they were scared to death, saying, It's a spirit. And they cried out for fear, but straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried out, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him, and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth thou art the Son of God. And when they were gone over, they came into the land of the Genesaret. So we have this picture of Jesus sending his disciples on a fishing boat, across the Sea of Galilee and a storm comes up, which often happens on the Sea of Galilee. It's a, a, a lake surrounded by mountains and so the winds come down off the mountains and stir up the water. And so they're going across and it's in the nighttime and they see this figure of a man walking across the water. They had never seen it before. Actually, I've never seen it before, and neither have you seen it before. They saw this guy walking across the water, and it scared them. They'd never seen it. They were not They were probably more scared of him than they were of the storm, which is already bad enough. And it says, Jesus said, Be of good cheer, it's I, be not afraid. They recognized his voice, and they knew it was Jesus. And one of the things that Jesus knows and does is he knows how to bring peace when there's a storm or trouble. He also knows how to calm people who are scared and upset. Uh, just to hear the voice of Jesus is enough for many people to cause them to be able to deal with circumstances they're in or trouble or even storms. And so Jesus says this to them, be of good cheer, it's I, don't be afraid. And so what's Peter want to do? He wants to get out of the boat and walk on the water too. Hey, you're walking on the water. I want to walk on the water. So he starts walking across the water and there's just one problem. He took his eyes off of Jesus and he looked down at the water. And when he started looking at the water, he started thinking, wait a minute, I'm a man. I cannot walk on water. And he started to sink. Got the picture? I want to say to you, if you take your eyes off of Jesus, and if you look at the trouble and the storm that's going on around us, it would be easy for you or I to be afraid, to get upset, to be anxious, have sleepless nights. The problem is we started looking at trouble and stopped looking at the trouble solver, the problem solver, the storm calmer, Jesus Christ himself. I want to say to you, if you're going through trouble or a storm in your life, stop looking at the storm and the problem and the trouble. Put your eyes on Jesus. Look to him. Talk to him. Say, Jesus, I'm scared. I'm upset. I'm worried. I don't know how this is going to work out. I need help. Say, Jesus, is it possible that you could help me? By the way, the answer is yes. He could help you if you just let him and say, Jesus, I'm willing to do whatever you want me to do. I want to trust you. Please help me know what to do or take care of this problem for me. When you put your trust in him, you've invited God into your life and into your situation to help you deal with your problem. That is a smart thing to do. I know you're a smart person, so I want to say, put your eyes on Jesus, trust him, 
You'll never regret it. Come and visit us on Sundays. We meet at 1020 a.m. here in Hammett, 433 South San Jacinto Street, okay, in Hammett. God bless you.